Paige Thompson, the woman who allegedly pulled off one of the largest ever uh, bank data breaches, appeared to have exploited a vulnerability in the cloud that security experts have warned about for years. Joining us now, morning anchor for Fox News Headlines 24-7 on Sirius XM 115, Brett Larson. Good morning, Brett. Yeah, she, uh, not a phishing scam, surprisingly, just found a hole in the cloud services. I I, I think this will probably in time become a bigger story because so much of what we do today, whether we know it or not, is cloud-based. Our email is in the cloud, our uh, photos are in the cloud, a lot of our personal data is stored in the cloud if you use services like Dropbox or, or Google Drive. So the fact that uh, this hacker, this Paige Thompson, was able to find this security hole and get in without actually, you know, she didn't go into a Capital One, she didn't slip somebody a thumb drive or email an executive some phishing scam to say click here. It was just a, a vulnerability that folks have known about. It's a little bit of finger pointing now. Amazon is saying this is on you. Our services are perfectly secure, which they are. Capital One is saying uh, no, this is a vulnerability in the server, so we need to, something that we need to fix. Obviously, if you're a Capital One customer, might want to log in and check, make sure all your all your stuff is uh, is safe. Uh, hackings happen though so much now that I think no matter what, no, whether it is your bank or your credit card or your Equifax data that was breached, you just have to be a savvy consumer now, and you have to pay attention to, you know, log into your bank account once a week, make sure all those charges in your credit card or on your credit card rather are things that you did because we really we really don't know anymore who has our stuff and do, what they're doing. Do you know is Capital One offering? All all the customers like free identity theft oversight for a year, which is something that we often see. I haven't seen that. I have a Capital One account, which I probably shouldn't admit on the air because now everybody knows where I bank. Uh, but no, the I haven't seen an email about it yet from Capital One. Normally, they they're have they're you, very active about it, you, but it may not have affected me. Have you gotten an email saying our our data was breached and you might be a victim? I have, have they not even gotten that. I did get that from the Equifax. Ha uh, breaching, I love but how everybody got that because it was 160 Keep moving. million totally. people. Nothing to so see here. Nothing to see here. Bad. You're um, not getting $125. Nothing, nothing to worry about except we're going to give you protection for the next year. <laughs> how do you think their response has been, speaking of that? I thought it was not good yeah. at all. I mean, I, I actually do have a piece up on Fox Business where we can break down what I think that they didn't do well. The only thing I think they did well was somewhere in the middle of it, the CEO apologized for what happened, but it was not a strong response at all. I don't I think know. it did anything to assuage um, concerns. Concerns. Right. They, and, and you need to be in front of these things. You need to, the moment you hear about it, you should be front and center telling every single customer you have whether or not it affected them. Say, we're aware of the situation. We're working with security people. We're bringing in an outside firm to investigate our security practices. These are our best practices. It's the only way to do it. Brett Larson, thank you. Every morning, Brett, Fox News Headlines 24-7 Series XM 115. Thank you, Brett.